So I'm going to talk to you today about the Roomba. I picked this up um, on our Canadian Black Friday sale. So it was roughly about 250 bucks, but we usually they would go for about 500 and up. Um, I we absolutely love it. There's a lot of great things about uh, about this vacuum, um, and there's some not so great things about it, but I'll uh, walk you through it. So the nice thing about this vacuum is that it is self vacuuming. So all you do is just set the schedule and you can let it go or you can just uh, press the button, the clean button and off it goes. Uh, many people that have a Roomba end up naming their Roombas. Uh, we've named ours Winifred or Winnie for short. Um, I know a Rosie, I know a Sonia, um, Spot. So there's a lot of people that just name them, which is kind of fun. Um, so the great things about this vacuum, it is, it picks up everything and anything. The little bristles, um, sweeps it along and it is a, it goes into a pattern it, uh, from the base every time, or you can set it to a certain room through the app, which I'll talk to you a little bit about later. Um, the container for where the stuff is kept is right in here. It is, as you can see, it's quite dirty. I just emptied it and actually I had to stop Winnie to do the video. So she was not quite happy very with me very much. Uh, she kept uh, beeping at me. But anyways, so I had to stop her mid-flight <clears throat> and I had to empty out the container. It is really good to empty it out every time that sh your Roomba goes. Um, as you can tell, the space is quite small and it is a bagless vacuum. So things can get stuck inside the vacuum if you do not clean it out on a regular basis. But it just pops in, clicks in, and you're off and running. Um, it has like this, oh, oh there it is, the handle, has like a little bit of a handle, um, had to figure that out for a second, so you can carry it around, so what my son does is that he takes it downstairs to his room, and he just hits the clean button, and off it goes into his room, so that is the nice thing about this. So you can schedule it or you can just let it run free um, and just whenever you decide you ever need it. Uh, it does have an option to clean when you're away and that is through the app, which I'll show you later. Um, it is Wi-Fi driven, so you do have to connect it to your Wi-Fi. And it also has a, like a little battery uh, picture here, which is green. So if it was red, then of course the battery is going to die. But it really, the Roomba should actually go back to the docking station every time it's done. Now I have caught Winifred underneath the bed one time, underneath the couch one time. I guess she was a little too ambitious and just never made, made it back to her base. I've also had it where she got stuck. Uh, one of my uh, floor vents is busted and she got stuck in there. So I got a notification on my phone saying that Winifred was on a cliff. I'm not sure it was exactly a cliff, but that's how they kind of stated that she was in a state of emergency. Um, but the overall general use of the Roomba has been fantastic, especially if you have, if you have um, a lot of pets or just a lot of, a lot of people. Uh, it just keeps the floor uh, free and clean. You do need to pick up um, little stuff. Uh, Winifred will either shove it along for the most part, depending on the size. If it's small enough, it might suck it in like Lego or whatever the case may be. So the clearer the space, the better she can roam. Um, or he, um, could be, it's a gender or neutral machine. So he or she, um, I just call her she just, you know, just because. So clearing all your space off the floor and making sure that uh, your Roomba has a good good place to uh, to vacuum. The one thing I do love about this is that it does schedule and it gets underneath the furniture. 
uh, on a really pretty consistent basis. Um, some people say, oh, well, it bangs into things. Not typically. Uh, it, there's a couple things it bangs into, but that's just more of my floor decoration stuff. It's not even uh, furniture. For the most part, she will go along the edge of the, of the walls, and she's very gentle. Again, I'm calling her she. Um, the back is wheel driven and it's got the brushes and this now I do know uh, a client of mine that um, she found that with her Roomba and she got the most expensive one she got the one that was around a thousand dollars but I don't know if that makes too much of a difference or not but and they have a golden retriever so the fur would actually get caught around the plastic part of the of the motor and uh, it has actually damaged the plastic part. So of course you have to replace it. So I don't know if that is the case with all Roombas in all situations, but um, you know, definitely check out to see what, what works for you or not. As you can tell, it picks up tons of hair. I have a cat and two dogs and then my hair, my long hair. So it just, um, it just picks up everything in its, in its path. Um, we can all we can always hear her go kind of going and just you know starting up and and off she runs. If you find that there's a spot that you want to do, just you know a small spot, there's a spot option. Uh, but also if you just want to dock her and have her just be done, you can hit the dock button. And if you hit the dock button, it goes right back to her dock and she will sit there and charge the docking station. Is great because it is um, you just plug it in and you just leave it there and every time your Roomba is done uh, they will go back to the docking station now there is a Roombas that have the uh, self-emptying canisters uh, which again are a lot more money than this but if you empty it out every time you're done you're you're pretty much good to go um, as far as anything else about this, it's fairly quiet. Um, you know, unless it bangs into things a little bit here and there. It does go over carpet. It does carpet and your hardwood. It does your tile. Um, so it is very uh, versatile that way. The, and I think that's pretty much it for the Roomba as far as the pros. Uh, the cons is probably just emptying out the canister and just making sure that your your space is clear and uh, It's not banging into things. So if you can kind of live with that, then you're you're in pretty good shape You know overall, I absolutely love our Roomba like I said um, And some people love it and some people are not so loving it um, but if you schedule it then you are just You're like it's great I'm like what else do you have to do? You can just put your feet up and watch your Roomba go to work. Uh, price points, like I said, I got this for $250 Canadian. Uh, so it's usually around 500. I think they're in upwards of about thousand dollars, depending on what type of model there is. Um, I know there's the knockoffs of the Roomba. I would probably check your reviews, uh, talk to other people that may have it. I know there's also, um, the knock or this room, there's blah. This Roombas that do also floor mopping.
and that's I'm gonna show you the app though I think you know it's good to see the app and then that way you know what you're uh, what you're up for as far as um, uh, controlling it manual um, through your app but also your alerts okay so this is the app so as you can see it says Lady Winifred so Winnie for short so right now it says pause because I paused her halfway and the battery is about halfway so um, God watch that but also it says that I paused it or canceled it within an, uh, an hour and 30 minutes now watch and listen because you can either resume or I can actually send her back so I'm gonna send her home and there you go you can hear her going away well she's actually not going back to her base she's just gonna hang around while I do this video so another thing is that you can do your favorites so you can have your vacuum everywhere or you can have certain rooms and there's a schedule so you can schedule on the on certain days and then certain times so there's a schedule right there so I have a set for Sunday Tuesday and Thursday at 1 o'clock um, or 12 o'clock on a Sunday so you can set it for any time and edit uh, your days however you see fit and uh, and just make it fit your schedule or you can even add days and add times so and then I'll just give you a bit of history as to what you've done so far some tips and then you got your settings and your help the smart home that's where you can connect to your uh, accounts and devices uh, such as your smart home or and your phone and then your automations um, you know tell your robot to, uh, to take action with a single with singles from your existing smart home devices or accounts say for example start cleaning when you leave your home so that part is super handy some of the other settings um, you can change the music or the sound So just like, just let her know that you're, uh, she wants to be heard sometimes. And then you're just your robot language. And then you can actually send, uh, uh, reset to factory default if you would like. You can add new jobs. So you can add a new job and set as a favorite. I just wanted to show you one last thing is the, the base. So you got a long, good long cord. Uh, for plugging in and it just like that you just plug it in and then you just sit it on the floor like this and then your Roomba will just kind of come onto the base and when the the green light when it's a green light there then you know that your Roomba is charging um, some people tuck it underneath a piece of furniture couch um, dresser whatever I put mine out in the open um, so it makes it I don't know just so I know that she, you know she's good to go when uh, when it's scheduled so yeah so that's pretty much it for this video um, just uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Roomba and uh, so but if you have any questions or comments about about this vacuum by all means just let me know comment or uh, send your questions below please consider subscribing uh, and sharing the videos that you see and that way people are well informed on what's out there and what works for them and what doesn't and I'll say you know talk to your family your friends your neighbors co-workers check out the reviews online and just kind of see what they all say and then you can make your best uh, decision on uh, your purchase everybody's experience with vacuums are different um, that's why it's always good to get a good diverse um, p uh, information on uh, on the vacuum that you're just considering to purchase and uh, then I hope to see you next time and have a great day